four neighborhoods in a city, Levmisto, Termisto, Pesmisto and Kitmisto. LTPK for us. During the onset of a pandemic, the number of new cases of a disease in each of these neighborhoods was recorded over a period of five days. Nice. On each day, the number of new cases recorded in any of the neighborhoods was 0, 1, 2 or 3. Nice. Simple neighborhoods. Not yet a major pandemic, I get 0, 1, 2, 3. The following facts are also known. There was at least one new case in every neighborhood on day 1. 1, 1, 1, 1 minimum. On each of the five days, there were more new cases in Kitmisto than in Pesmisto. K greater than P every day. The number of new cases in the city in a day kept increasing during the five day period. Day one and then day two is higher, day three is higher, day four is higher, day five is even higher. The number of new cases on day three was exactly one more than that on day two. K, K plus one. The maximum number of new cases in a day in Pesmisto was two and this happened only once during the five days day. So Pesmisto had twos and then only ones and zeros. One, two, rest are all ones and zeros. Maximum was two and only on one day. Kitmisto was the only place to have three new cases on day two. Day two, three new cases, only Kitmisto. The total number of new cases in Lebmisto, Termisto, Pesmisto and Kitmisto over the five day period were 12, 12, 5 and 14 respectively. Oh nice. Total case numbers are given. This is going to be super powerful because 12, 12, 5, 14. Why is this super interesting for us? Because 5 is super small, 14 is super high. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 over 5 days is 15. 14 is just one shot of that. This should be 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. Super powerful. One day is two, every other day is three. Super powerful. Five is Pesmisto. Pesmisto had only twos, one, one, two, and only ones and zeros. So three ones and a zero. These two are obviously going to be tricky. Four threes and a zero could be there. Three, three, two, two, two could be there. These two are slightly tricky if you want to stay away from them for this. The good that we have cracked these two. That number is a big giveaway. Day 1 greater than or equal to 1. Each of the days, kit misto greater than pest misto. Greater than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 1. This should be greater than or equal to 2. This is 1, this is 2. Minimum. Add all of this up, A is greater than or equal to 5. Nice. Kept increasing B, B plus 1, C, D. What is the total? 12 plus 12, 24, plus 5, 29, plus 14, 43. So all of these added up should give us 43. Nice. So let's keep plugging away. The maximum number of new cases in a day in Pesmisto was 2. This happened only once during the 5 day period. Only 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0. This should be 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. So that adds up to 14. It means so the only place to have three new cases on day two. This is three, not equal to three, not equal to three. This is not equal to three that we know it has only twos and ones and zeros. Nice. We fill this up, we fill this up. Three, 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 two, two, one, 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 zero. In some order, in some order. Nice. We've cracked this. L and T should also have a few threes. Without threes, we cannot get up to 12. Now comes the interesting thing. This kept increasing. And the maximum count in a day is 12. Maximum is 12. But hey, it can't really be 12. Why not? Because Pesmisto never hits a 3. Maximum is 3, 3, 3, 2, adding up to 11. Maximum possible D is 11. Maximum C is 10, 9, 8. It's the maximum possible. So 11 plus 10, 21, plus 9, 30, plus 8, 38. In which case, this could be 5. 5 plus 38, 43. That is possible. This cannot be 12. Right? Now, let's see the other way around. Can this be... This can be 5. This could be maybe 6. If this were 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11. That adds up to 40. So this could be 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, that adds up to 45. That's not possible. This, if this were 7, this would be 8, 9, 10, 11. That's, a, that's the best possibility, least. That adds up to 45. That's not possible. Because if this were 7, then the minimum numbers would 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not possible. So this cannot be 7. So this number can only be 5 or 6. This could be 11, 10, 9, 8 and 5. That's a possibility. This could be 6 and we could find some other combination. So this maximum is 11. It cannot be 12 or more. That is a max capped at 11. So the maximum possibility will be 11, 10, 9, 8, which adds up to 38. In which case this would be 5. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11 is possible. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is not possible. This number should be 5 or 6. Nothing else is possible. The maximum total this could have been is 5 or 6. Nice. Let's see if we can narrow this down. Minimum point on day 1 is 5. Maximum is 6. Only 5 or 6 are possible. We'll put this as 6. We'll put this as 5. And then we'll see where it goes. Suppose this were not 11. Not 11. Then this could be 10, 9, 8, 7. Add all of this up. 7 plus 10 is 17. Plus 17, 34. Plus 6 will take us to 40. Our total is 43. This has to be 10. Nothing else is possible. So this has to be 11. Nothing else is possible. So let's fill that in. It cannot be 10. It has to be 11. Now, if we step down from there, suppose this were not 10. 9, 8, 7 is the best case scenario. 24 plus 6, 30. Adding up to 11, 41. Not possible. This also has to be 10. 10 plus 11 is 21. This could be, if this were 5, it'll add up to 26. Remaining 17 across these two, that's possible. 10 plus 11, 21. If this were 6, that'll be 27. These two adding up to 17, that's not possible. These two add up to 21. Day 4. These two add up to 21. This could be 5 or this could be 6. 21 plus 6 is 27. 21 plus 5 is 26. These two will then add up to 17. These two would add up to 16. These two, B and B plus 1, odd number plus even number, it has to be odd. It can only be this. It cannot be this. Or we know this is 5, this is 10, this is 11. 5, 10, 11 are for sure. And these two add up to 17, so it will be 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Brilliant. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is done. This is 11, 3, 3, 2, 3. That is simple, straightforward. And 3, 3 is under 2, P has to be 2. This is 5, 1, 1, 1, would be greater than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 1, greater than or equal to 2. Only scenario is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. 10, we know that this is 2, so K has to be 3, 3, 3. Nicely done. It adds up to 10. P could be only 1 or 0. These three add up to seven. I mean, this has to be one. This has to be three. This has to be three. Three, three, one, three. Brilliant. We've narrowed it down. One, 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 two. This is three, 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 three. We filled K. We filled day one, day four, day five. We need to fill L, T, and P here for day two and day three. That's it. This is three. This is three. These three add up to five. These three add up to six. So, and there should be 1, 1 and 1, 0 here. So, this could be 1, 2, 2, adding up to 5. In case this would be 0, 3, 3. Or you could put a 0 here. In case this would be 3, 2 or 2, 3. This will be 1, 3, 2 or 2, 3. Now, they were wrong. This is still complicated. We still, this could be 0 and 1 or 1 and 0. So, there's still some challenge there. Are we missing some constraint? Are we still missing some one constraint? We're missing one beautiful constraint which says that on day two only k was three. Only k was three. These three add up to five. No threes. 
maximum this can be is 2, 2, 1. That means this has to be 0. Add up to 3. Brilliant. So 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 adding up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 adding up to 12. 1, 1, 0, 1, 2 adding up to 5. 2, 3, 3, 3, 3 adding up to 14. Everything was the complete grid is filled we are through. I missed the last constraint here and I had multiple possibilities here and then I had to take some chances. This constraint is brilliant. On day 2, only k is 3. I mean these two should be 2, 2, 1, 1. What best can be concluded about the total number of new cases in the city on day two? Day two total cases, exactly eight. What number of new cases in Lebmisto on day three? Lebmisto day three, exactly three. On which day did Pismisto not have any case? Day three. Which of the following statements is, is are necessarily false? There are two new cases in Termisto on day 3. Termisto day 3 is three new cases. So this is false. There were no new cases in Pesmisto on day 2. Day 2, one case. This is also false. Both statements A and B are false. This one. Done. On how many days does Lebmisto and Termisto have the same number of new cases? One day, two days, three days, four days, all five days. They're identical. It is one, two, three, 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 one, two, three, three, three. Done. This is also a rather doable set. All in all, super challenging. The last two are the most doable. So two that should have attacked and swallowed up and said, look, 10 in the bag and then go for the start of the first. The second one was the toughest, PQRS with lots of games and all kinds of confusing things. The first one was all right, doable, but heavy duty math. Best case scenario, attack the last two. Get the age one, five out of five. Do this one, maybe get three out of five. Eight is a fantastic score, eight correct. Phenomenal performance, both of these in the back. Five plus five, 10 questions, 10 into three, 30. Brilliant. And then maybe one bonus to shooting for the moon, shooting for the stars. That's about it, wonderful, have fun. Hush.